The holiday season involves decorating Christmas trees, putting up lights, buying holiday gifts, and of course, getting out of school. That's true, Lexi, and I'm sure we're all looking forward to all of those things. However, if we're not careful, our holiday fun can be tainted by theft and injury. We go now to Hawkeye News crime anchor Roseanne Foster for some holiday safety tips. Roseanne? Thanks, Lexi and Chris. You're absolutely right. The holidays are always an enjoyable, happy time of year. However, it's also a time when in our excitement, we may get a little careless. According to the Uniform Crime Reporting Program, Crime Clock, a burglary takes place in the U.S. every 14.6 seconds, and that's just on average. The holiday season is considered the peak time for theft and muggings. During the holidays, many of us find ourselves in a rush to buy presents for family and friends. This, of course, means shopping. In order to avoid muggings, pickpocketing, or purse snatching, the DPS Holiday Crime Prevention webpage recommends Shop before dark if possible or plan a trip with friends. Never park in an unlit area, no matter how convenient it may seem. Have your keys in your hand when you return to your car and check your car before you get in. Lock your car doors and windows even if you're only going to be gone for a few minutes. Keep packages and other valuables out of public view. Avoid carrying large amounts of cash, and guys, keep wallets in a jacket pocket. Girls, use the strap of your purse and carry it under your arm. Though we always feel safe at home, the holidays are a common time for home break-ins. In order to prevent this from happening in our homes, the website continues, saying, Lock all doors and windows at all times. Don't display gifts or other valuables where they can be seen from doors or windows. If you go out in the evening, leave a light or the TV on so the house looks occupied. If you and your family are going out of town, have a neighbor watch your house, pick up the mail, and if possible, get an automatic timer for your lights. After Christmas, don't advertise new electronics and or other new valuables that you just received. Instead of just setting the boxes out on the curb, break them down and put them in the trash. The holidays are also a common time for drinking and driving. According to the United States Department of Health and Human Services, a survey conducted in 2005 found that 74.3% of high school students nationwide had consumed one or more drinks of alcohol during their lifetime. In Texas, a little more than 11% of those caught and arrested for drinking and driving were under 21. And the consequences don't go away because we're minors. Texas has a zero tolerance law, meaning there will be a price to pay if any of us are caught driving under the influence. In Texas, the consequences consist of a fine up to $500, attendance of an alcohol awareness class, 20 to 40 hours of community service, and a 60-day license suspension. I hope none of us have to deal with any of these holiday issues and instead can enjoy the festivities and time off. Until next time, stay safe, Red Oak. For Hawkeye News, I'm Roseanne Foster.